Uh, my name is Pug Bougeau, and I am the Artistic Director of Theatre Artists Olympia. <laughs> and the director of tonight's musical extravaganza. phones and pagers. These boys are hungry and well armed. <laughs> Number two, there is a strobe light. I'm supposed to warn you. Consider yourselves warned. Uh, number three, Dow's next production will be Oleana in July at the Olympia Little Theater space. It's a wonderful show. Um, if you go on our website, we can find out more information about that. And if you look at the back of your programs, there is a um, coupon for buy one get one free from the Olympia Hot Dog Company. Wieners! Yes, they would be more than happy to slip a wiener into your bun. Woo! All right. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Um, it has been a joy to do this show. Lots and lots of fun. Have a good time. by the sound of running feet. <gasps> Cresting the hills, a man running for his life. His name is Will Swan. <laughs> Script enhancing computer reconstruction technology. What's that? 
hell? That's mouthful. <laughs> that script was adapted for production in a converted basement space. As you can see, we have one, two, three perpendicular oblong load elevating structures. <laughs> These poles serve a very important purpose for tonight's production. They will hold the roof up. <laughs> As we are in the basement, we like that. The story you are about to see is real. The actors performing it are real. <laughs> The musical's violent scenes, except for the really cool ones, have been edited out for your viewing pleasure. It's totally true. Yes. And then he cut up the bodies! Oh, gross! When he finally arrived, tired and beat, he said, I don't know what happened to my companions. They left me behind. And they believed him. And they felt sorry for him. <laughs> they let him go on to sob. Now, what would he have you believe? That under these horrible circumstances it was justified? No, gentlemen of the jury, it is never justified to murder. Murder is wrong. So I ask you to come back with a verdict to hang this bastard for what he has done. The prosecution rests.
Swan, you find any gold yet? Oh, not in this gosh darn canyon. That's why a group of us head to Breckenridge today. Breckenridge in Colorado territory? That's the place. Hey, you should come on along. The more the merrier. Wow, I would give anything to go back to Colorado territory. Well now, I didn't know you were from Colorado territory. Oh no, I just worked there for a few years in Georgetown before I moved here. Oh. Huh. Say, who's your guy? Lucky Larry. He's from Denver. Denver, huh? Yeah. Say, do you think I could just talk to Lucky Larry for a second? Well, sure. Gotta meet a group of them now. Come on. There are some who have said that Breckenridge is a heaven upon this earth. Thank the Lord who had a loan to us for as long as we trust in the Lord. And let us not forget the story from the Book of Mormon, where Brigham Young planted many corn rows, and the locusts came and ate his crops. But the Lord sent down a flock of seagulls that began to devour the locusts. Whoa! 18 at a what's time. that? And, uh, that would be Lucky Larry. He <laughs> <laughs> got struck by lightning last night. Gosh, is he going to be OK? <laughs> what? Now we can't let this discourage us. They say there's enough gold in those hills to build walls out of. The Lord works in mysterious ways, and I think this is a test of our will. My fellow Mormons know what I'm talking about. Trials and tribulations. That is what this world is all about. Now are we going to let this one little thing keep us from fulfilling our dreams? Yes! <laughs> no, no, no. We've got to be strong, don't we? No! no. Nope. I'm telling you, we can still make it! But our guide is dead? Yeah! yeah. Oh, there has to be somebody here who knows that territory a bit. Anyone? Hey! Didn't you say that you're from Colorado Territory? Oh, no, hey I guys! He's from Colorado Territory! Wonderful! What is your name, sir? Uh, I'm Alfred Packer. No, this is my horse, Leanne. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, oh God! God. Let's just go back to mining here. Yeah. Yeah. There is no gold here! When was the last time anyone made a strike? I'll go. No! Come on, son. We'll head out in the spring. But, Dad, if you wait till spring, all the gold will be gone. We have to go now. No. It's too dangerous. What if you get lost or run out of food? What if someone gets gangrene from an infection and goes crazy? Dad, I can't be a little boy forever, all right? Don't you understand? No, I don't understand. Okay, you go on ahead. You go on and you break your mother's heart. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Wonderful. Don't you all feel just a little bit ashamed? This nice, young, <laughs> brave, <laughs> stupid. That's what, go on in that way. Son, why don't you go? Huh? Boy, I just wanted to get out of Utah. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I distinctly remember you saying you wanted to get out of Utah coaches. No, I didn't! Son, you argue with me! If you go to Breckenridge now, you can stake a claim, and your sister and I can come out in the spring. Anyone else with us? He's in! Wonderful. That makes five. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> hey, when do we leave? Well, the sooner the better, I always say. Let's ask our new guide. Oh, yeah. Mr. Packer. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Well, great. Wow. Let's get packing. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> packing, not packer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
would be a nice, happy trip. But then, four weeks later, in the Utah desert, a barren, rocky place just outside of Provo, Packer got his first bad feeling. Three weeks, my ass, Packer! Sure is a lot of walking. I swear my legs are killing me. Oh, hey, how much yeah. are we to Provo? Well, you know, we can't be much further now. And then from Provo, how far is it to Breton Beach? Oh, well, it, you know, actually I haven't taken the trip before without riding Leanne, so I'm not really sure how long it'll take on foot. Gosh, I wish I had a horse. How much you pay for yours, Packer? Oh, nothing. I've had her since I was a kid. Oh, wow. Well, she certainly is a speed going to horse. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Um, did you tell us how much further it is from Provo? Yeah, we need to get some supplies for our big trip near the Rocky Mountains. You're never going to make it. It's got a curse on it. Provo? The Rocky Mountains. <laughs> I got to warn you. You're doomed. 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 Turn back, like you still can. Thank you. <laughs> hey, howdy. 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 Howdy.
Yeah. Hey, that sounds great. Can, can I have some of the yellow chunks? <laughs> hey guys. Do you think it's true what they were saying earlier? You know, about Leanne being a trapper horse? Oh, a horse is a horse. Of course, of course. But I mean, an Arabian isn't even really a trapper horse, is it? All that really matters, Mr. Packer, is that you're good to that horse. Trappers? Well, trappers never are. He's right. God, you guys make me sick. What is this, some kind of a feel-good convention? Now, Miller, we have a long journey ahead of us. It's important that we all get along. You're hurting people's feelings. Mm. You need to find a more constructive way to express your anger. Okay. Well, fuck you. How's <laughs> <laughs> that for constructive? That's fine. Now you go to time out, mister. We warned you! <laughs> God, you guys are weird. Uh, 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 20 feet away. Turn around. You know the rules. I saw that, Miller. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get up to Breckenridge and see all those pretty women. That's all you really think about, isn't it? Well, I mean, I've been around these parts with my dad for years, mining canyon after canyon. Seems like the only people we ever see are guys. In fact, the only women I think I ever saw was in Utah. You know, the women there are just so... Mormon! <laughs> I mean, I'm 19 now, you know? I'm ready to get in there and see what it feels like to just... You know what I mean? What? Well, young man, if there's half as much gold in those hills as people say, then you'll be rich. And you won't have any problem finding uh, that. What? What? Really? What? Yeah. <laughs> now, I know that there's more to life than women. Oh. I just can't seem to figure out what else there is. I don't need it every night. Every morning would be just fun. A little sex is all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. That's all he's asking for. For the sake of our Lord, enough to build a church where everyone can come. Enough of the Lord, that's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. That's all he's asking for. It ain't a lot to ask. I'm sure we'll get it back. A friend of mine was mining and he made a lot of cash. He made a gazillion dollars. How's that? That's all I'm asking for. You want to ask him? I'll tell you where he lives. That's all he's asking for. That's all I'm asking for. We're tired of being sick. We're sick of being poor. We've had a little luck. Now we want a little more. I guess we'll never do anything anymore. That's all we're asking for. Hey, how about you, Mr. Miller? What is it you're asking for? No, no, I don't see. Oh, come on now. If you can talk, you can sing. Hey, I just want to make enough money to open up a shop of my own, carry on with the family tree. Well, there, that's great. What is it that you do? I'm a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> You're a butcher? Yeah. <laughs>
hiking ridge, yeah. I'll just travel south to Sawatch and find those trappers and be like, Ha, trappers! Ha, we made it! <laughs> We're doomed! You're all doomed! Mom? No. <laughs> Seriously, it's dead ring. Look alike, guys. Yes. <laughs> Patty was not a superstitious man. All the uh, doomsayers in the world couldn't weaken his resolve. He walked under ladders, he didn't believe in germs, mm. and he never brushed his teeth. Mm. But the next day, something happened that would shake Packer to his very core. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The end! The end? Hey, Packer, her tracks lead off that way. Maybe she's in front of us. Okay, but I'm shaking to my very core. <laughs> Leon's tracks headed east. <coughs> so Packer kept falling. The men didn't care as long as they were still aiming for Breckenridge. You see, Packer and Leanne had a very special relationship. He would do anything for her. In fact, many of Packer's friends said they brought new meaning to the term horsewit. <laughs> <laughs> but then something happened that... Across, 
and then build it back into a wheelbarrow. There. Talk about a waste of time. Don't be such a horse's ass. Uh, uh, too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Sorry, Packer. How deep do you think it is? Um, What the hell was that supposed to prove? <laughs> well, it, you see, if you, um... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> let's, let's just see what we can carry. Got the boat. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, do so you really think we can make it? Well, sure! As long as we all stick together. That way, if someone trips and starts shooting downstream, the rest of us will be there to catch him! Downstream? Ah, oh, nobody's going downstream. This is gonna suck! Okay, on three. One, two, Yee three! The river was deeper than anything the men had ever experienced. It carried them faster than the swiftest horse. When it was all over, the men washed up on shore, unbeknownst to them. They were 75 miles farther off course. Being miners and mountain men, our heroes seldom bathed, much less went swimming. So in hindsight, that seems to make jumping into a fast-moving river in the middle of winter a bad idea. <laughs> Live and learn. <laughs> oh, oh God, God, it's cold! I can't feel my balls! I think we lost Humphrey! Good! <laughs> Are there any more big rivers between here and Breckenridge? No, just, just the Colorado. Oh, oh good. <laughs> guys, I, I really can't feel my balls! <laughs> hey, guys, I really think that we should make camp and get out of these wet clothes, or we're gonna catch a hypothermia, something awful. That's right. We should get some body heat going on. <laughs> All right, guys, now stick with me. I've been down this river before. All right, I think I see a way out. Ready, follow? Ow! The men were in danger of going into hypothermia. With every step, they came dangerously closer to death. The first thing they needed to do was to get their freezing clothes off. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of a severe Colorado winter. The only source of warmth they had was body heat. <laughs> the men would need to huddle together to stay warm. <laughs> 21st century science confirms that the men did the right thing to survive. The safest, warmest position to save their lives was to become like spoons in a drawer. Yeah, two at okay. a time, ideally. Come on. Come on. It's like an open faced man sandwich. Just... Plenty of room. <laughs> open big spoon. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you right. in the river. This is your reward. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Oh, how are you sweating? <laughs> there the boy. Yeah. Sophie, you can cry a little if you want to. <laughs> Me. You're trying to be sleeping next to a naked man on this trip. Me either. Uh, well, just do what I'm doing. Pretend you're sleeping next to a lady. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Well, well imagining oh. Mr. Miller here is a nice blonde sex. Ah, God damn it! I want a new partner! <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> so hungry. I have fudge. Mm. <laughs> hey, Packer. You really miss Leanne, don't you? 
Boy, I'll say. I, I can't believe she'd just run off like that. Well, don't worry, Mr. Packer. There are other horses in the world. You'll find another one. I wouldn't want another one. <laughs> What she meant to me Whenever I was with her I was always as gentle as I could be Now I don't know why but she's gone away And I just have to stand on my own to Catch that hypo thing. Oh, this is good, Packer. 
Real good. You're a regular Christopher fucking come on, let's look, 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 we made it, didn't we? We're in Colorado territory. Wow. That certainly is a grand canyon. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> but you know, really, they can't be that big. We can probably just walk around. <gasps> look, you guys! Snow! Oh, sweet. What is it, Becca? <laughs> Over there by the band! Mute! No, I think they're Indians. Why are they so short? All Indians are short. <laughs> hey! You guys, you guys want to build a snowman or something? Shut up, Swan! Wait a minute, let's just, let's just get down. <laughs> you think they see us? I don't know. Ow, oh, hey! Are ye? Ooh, ye! <laughs> Morning! Morning? Ooh, ye! Metal say weird. Uh, what is that, Ute? I, I don't know. We're gonna die. Yeah. Whipwa, whipwa, Siru nu hapu. Wait, is that okay? I hate It says, Welcome to the land of blue light. Ish fe, u fe, or fe, okay. S ye. I am a carpenter, and this is my brother Tom. Humphrey, you are so full of shit. <laughs> no, no, ask them if they've seen a black horse with a freckled nose. He doesn't know what they're saying. Ha! Oh, oh, gotcha! I'm the same our teacher in Ice Bay! I think they want us to come with them. Yeah, they definitely want us to come with them. <laughs> well, what do we do? Maybe they just want Humphrey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we don't have a choice. So I'll just... Ute eater pack. I'm calling that one Butterfinger. <laughs> We're in big trouble here, guys, aren't we? I think so. Uh, it'll be all right. Just, just let me do all the talking. Hey. Humphrey, don't you say a word. Huh. This is the weirdest Indian tribe I've ever seen. Oh, uh. Were you Ife Eros, hey? Oh, uh, he says. Who are you, assholes? Uh, he speaks English. Here goes what? We are. <clears throat> we are from Utah. <laughs> Utah? Utah. Utah. Oh, Utah. Oh, Utah. Utah. <laughs> Could you uh, tell me what tribe this is? We are Indians. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, yes, I see that. Uh, but what Indians exactly? You don't think we're Indians? I didn't say that. No. We no, have. Teepees! Oh. Yeah, Look at these, my good man! Look at all the teepees we have, because we are Indians! They do have teepees. Yeah. 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 Where are you chaps off to? Breckenridge! It's a small town east of here. Yes, I know it. There's lots of gold, right? Oh yeah, that's the place! I'm afraid there's a terrible storm in the mountains, so if you like, you can wait here with us and the other assholes and wait. Down. What other assholes? Ten days ago, a group of assholes like yourselves <laughs> came through here and told them they should wait for the storm to end. Well, where are they? In the in the in the in the in the Currently, we'll bring them to you, but don't take too long. Dinner is in one hour. Oh, good. I can eat a Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Has anyone ever told okay, you? Okay, hey, wait, hey, hey. So cute. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, screw this, man. If they're not keeping us here, let's just ask for some food and be on our way. Yeah, we wanted to get to Breckenridge before all the gold was gone, yeah. remember? Well, I don't know, guys. I, I really think we should wait that storm out. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You know, Indians, they really know when it comes to weather. Oh, do you? That's true. Shit. Well, look at who's oh, here. No. Oh, hi. Well, looks like you diggers were lucky enough to run into the picket in East, too, huh? Good thing! Otherwise, you boys would have died for sure in that storm! Say, Packer, where's your horse? <laughs> she ran away! She. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> oh, oh, That's so funny! Oh, come on, Packer! It's only a matter of time! 
Jabber horse can't spend her whole life with no dumb, boring, cheese mo minor. Yeah, well, well, it's a whole lot better than just, like, leaving traps on, on the ground where people can step on them and stuff. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah they, and kill all those baby animals all the time. Aw, oh, don't hurt the little animals. Okay, okay. Nice hat. Fuck me, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd rather be a miner than a trapper any old day. Well, you guys don't even know what it means to be a trapper. Yeah, tell them French. I can catch a helpless citizens have sat in judgment on your case and have found you guilty. Yes! Oh, shit. <laughs> Alfred Packer, the judgment of this court is that you shall be taken from hence to the jail in Hinsdale County. 
and from there to a place of execution constructed for that purpose. <laughs> where, in the, in the town of Lake City, where, then and there, you shall be hung by the neck <laughs> until you are dead, dead, dead. And may God have mercy on your soul! Yeah! yeah! Hey, hey, we won! Yes, you certainly did. So I don't suppose it would be difficult for a winning prosecuting attorney to uh, get a date for dinner? No, I don't suppose it will. Oh, are you? Asshole! Yeah. Ooh, Kenny Black. <laughs> <laughs> that Packer's horse, his only friend, ran away? Did his loss lead to his murdering and eating his unsuspecting companions? What could have caused his madness? I can't imagine him being so violent. He seems so harmless. Why should I care? What is oh, this oh, magic oh, 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 I am so sorry. <laughs> so, what do you want? Here's the thing, it's almost intermission. Right now the show's energy's way up here, and this song kind of brings it way down here. Fuck so, you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! So we were hoping you could take your song and amp it up! Just amp it bring up. the energy up, you know? Sail in your mission. Uh, it is on now, asshole! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Does Charlie Sheen really have tiger blood? 